me a little bit about what you're doing there. Wait, my faces? Yeah. No. I am uh, drying off my feet because there's a little bit of a water runoff down there. So that's why I had wet feet because I had to go slog through where the road used to be. Forest Service, as it were, has tried to uh, eliminate all access to this. I had to wade through the river and basically endanger my life because of what the Forest Service has done to our nature. I mean, uh, there was a very real fear I had that I may die. I don't know if you can see my tears through these glasses, but I've got some PTSD and I'm gonna have to totally, you know, Forest Service dudes, if you get a call from my lawyer because of my PTSD, because of your destruction of my public lands, you'll know where it came from. I'm gonna give you a little video tour of the Wilcox. This is a super cool mine. Why do I say it's a super cool mine even though I haven't been able to get into it? Well, I say that because of what's around it and because of some of the ores that we can see out here in the waste pile and because you can see where the mines are at and the right person that's super motivated that wants to come out here and work this bad boy could uh, probably make a killing out here because I guarantee you they didn't take all the gold or even close to the gold because could you imagine being up here on your mule? How much gold are you going to take back? You're going to be like, ooh, this is the highest grade and screw the rest of it because I'm at 11,600 feet and I ain't taking anything down that I ain't getting paid for. If you are the person that buys this and you want to reopen this road that you can see behind me, give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help you with legal assistance. And yeah, that's just the kind of fight we love to get into. It'll be beautiful. You'd get your road access over here. Forest Service would be mad all the time because you actually enforce your rights. Yeah, super sick. So let's go show you the site. There looks like a cabin. Cabin with an outhouse. Outhouse? Yup. You know who I hear is in that outhouse? Who? Forest Service dudes. You know why? Because they're full of shit. <laughs> Just giving you a quick view here of how tightly these logs are put together. Back in the day, I bet when the snow rocked out, it got really effing cold. So you would want to build your little cabin to just be impervious to everything. So. This is your mine, or it was your mine. I believe your other one is over there. Look at that badass building. That thing has been here for a long, long time. And we're in this cabin. I'm just gonna show you something a little bit. So you can see here, there's some new subfloor that's been placed up top. There's new stairs. There's a bunch of nails in here, a bunch of caulk in here. Caulk, C-A-U-L-K. Not the other kind of cock. That would be Forest Service guys. But uh, what I'm trying to show you is that somebody has come in here and tried to shore this up so that this cabin stays up. Guarantee you it's not the Forest Service. It's probably the last person that had a claim on this mine. So the next person that has this claim, I would suggest you do the same. Restore this, make it a real, uh, you know, a, a gem, a treasure out here for people to see and actually preserve some of that history. up here tried to get to the Wilcox mine and there were a bunch of contractors just who knows what they were doing at the time well we're back out here it's the next year they've completely destroyed the road that used to go to the Wilcox mine and it appears they've tried to do some sort of water diversion with this rock creek that they've built the funniest part about this rock creek is there is some water in it but there's also water clear over here coming down, so if they were trying to divert the water, they failed. So, so Jessica, this was a mining area, right? So they would have had to like stay by like all the antiquities things and not destroy anything that was over 50 years old, right? Yeah. I can guarantee this bottle was over 50 years old. It's nice and thick. It's discolored from being in the sun for so long. And it's busted up into a bunch of pieces here. Who knows, it could have been intact before all the bulldozers came through, but it's obviously not anymore. Woohoo! Thanks for your service. How are you liking this? Oh, isn't this so pretty? All the knocked down trees and this barren land. It's amazing. But that's your tax dollars, Jessica. The Forest Service doesn't have a lot of money. They're out here to help you. Yeah, it's really helpful. Maybe they can turn it into a wilderness for you. Here's a little view. More of your uh, Forest Service carnage. 
just looks like hell. Thanks for your service, appreciate it. Hey guys that say stay the trail because we're here to help the forest service because they don't have a budget if somebody puts a beer can on the trail they'll have to close the road well they somehow come up with thousands and thousands of dollars to destroy the roads that you guys claim you're helping to save so don't be a sucker get out here and fight for your rights and keep your own roads open without trying to be buddy buddy with the forest service because they're going to do nothing but f you there you go What do you got there, Jess? Look at these beautiful sandy beaches. Sandy beaches? Doesn't this look so natural to the area? It looks totally natural, of, like when... Looks like an apocalypse um, coming through. Yeah. Scorched earth, yeah. The Wilcox Mine is one of dozens of properties that were owned by entrepreneur and Methodist minister, Reverend Edward J. Wilcox. This remote claim is located in the Argentine mining district and consists of two collapsed adits and one placer claim. The placer claim is in an excellent location due to water running through the surrounding mines before being deposited in the river. The mines in this area were historically mined for gold. 